Hello, this is Tony from Burmad. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through the process of installing a Burmad Omega controller, including mounting, connecting to power source, and setting up the controller in the Burmad cloud. Following the order of steps outlined in this tutorial is the easiest and most efficient way to set up and install Omega. Note that Omega can be set up on the Burmad cloud using a browser-based app or mobile app, and the process is very similar, no matter which method you use. We'll begin by establishing a user account in the Burmad cloud. Enter the Burmad cloud URL to access its home page. Click the new user link to sign up to the Burmad cloud. Enter your first and last name, as well as email address. Choose a password and confirm it. Select your time zone from the drop-down list. Now specify other preferences, such as week's first day, language, and flow unit. Click the Sign Up button to complete the process. Proceed by entering your credentials to log into your account. You can now define a site which enables you to centrally view and manage all controllers that are installed in a certain territory. Define a site by entering its name and optionally its description. Click the Save button to create the site. Your site's dashboard opens. Here you can view all your sites and switch between them using this drop-down list. You can click the Settings button on the toolbar to change the site's name and description you entered earlier. Optionally, you can also set a different background color for the site, or even enter a URL for a background image. Clicking the Dashboard button on the toolbar takes you back to the Site Dashboard page. Note that the site you created has no territory associated with it, so the map shows a random location. Once you'll add controllers to the site, the map will show their exact physical locations. Let's continue by adding the first controller to the site. Begin by clicking the Wizard button, which brings up Claudio, the automated Burmad Assistant. This tool offers a guided setup experience using questions and answers, which makes the process very simple. To set up a new controller, simply click the Add New Controller button. Let Claudio know how you wish to call the new controller by entering its name in the text box and clicking the Send button. By the way, if at any point during the process you made a mistake and need to correct it, you can click the Start Over button to do so. You can now choose whether to link the cloud controller you're setting up to the physical controller you purchased. If you have a physical controller, we recommend that you link to it now by clicking the Yes button. Identify your new controller by telling Claudio its serial number and click Send. You can find the serial number on the controller's label. You can omit the letters and zeros to the left of the first number. When asked, enter the controller activation code. This code can also be found on the controller's label. When done, click Send. The easiest way to configure the new controller is to continue with the default settings. To do so, click the Default button. Proceed by choosing the number of valves you intend to connect to Omega. Choose whether or not you want the controller to command a master valve or a pump start. Specify how many water meters you intend to connect to this controller. Specify how many analog inputs, such as pressure sensors, you intend to connect to this controller. At this point, a new controller is created and the controller settings page is displayed. Click on the dashboard icon to view the new controller you created. Now let's see how to add a controller to your site if you don't have the physical controller in your possession. Start by launching Claudio. Click the Add New Controller button and specify the controller's name. Now click the Not Now button to indicate that you intend to link to the physical controller later. Follow the same procedure shown earlier to complete the remaining configuration steps.
At this point, a new controller is created and the controller settings page is displayed. To link this controller to the physical controller, click the Link to Controller button. In the dialog that opens, enter the serial number and activation code from your controller's label. This controller was successfully linked to the physical controller. Now that you created a controller, we can set its actual location. Click the controller's location coordinates and drag the controller to the desired location. You can zoom the map in and out until you find the right location. Click Save when done. To add controllers to a site, you can also use a mobile app, which is available on Google Play and Apple Store. Using a mobile app, the process of adding a controller to a site is very similar. However, there are slight differences. Let's take a look. To launch the Burmad Assistant, click the Assistant icon. To add a new controller, click the appropriate option. Assign a name to your controller. If you have the physical controller at hand, click Yes to link it to the controller you're creating. The device's camera opens and enables you to scan the QR code on the controller's label, which automatically activates the controller. The rest of the controller setup process is identical to what was shown earlier. Choose Default and answer the questions until the assistant creates the controller. Next, the app displays the settings page of the new controller. Note that the controller's location is automatically set to your current location. If you'll ever need to reset the controller's location, first click the General tab and then the Update Controller Location button. This automatically updates the controller's location based on the actual location of your mobile device. Now that you completed setting up Omega in the Burmad Cloud, it's time to mount the controller in the installation site. To mount the controller on a wall, you'll first need to attach the mounting bracket to the wall using two screws. Position Omega onto the bracket and push it down until you hear a click. To mount the controller on a valve, first remove a bolt and nut from the valve's cover. Attach the bracket adapter plate to the valve using the bolt and nut that you removed. Insert the mounting bracket into the controller and verify it's fully secured. Push the mounting bracket onto the adapter plate until it clicks in place and is securely fastened. Omega controllers can also be mounted on a pole. To do that, you'll need to separately purchase a U-clamp from Burmad. Attach the bracket adapter plate to the U-clamp using a bolt and nut. Attach the U-clamp to the pole using two nuts. Insert the mounting bracket into the controller and verify it's fully secured. Push the mounting bracket onto the adapter plate until it clicks in place and is securely fastened. It's now time to connect Omega to a power source. Using batteries to power Omega is very easy. However, you'll need to check them periodically and replace them before irrigation season starts. To install the batteries, use a screwdriver to open the battery compartment. 
insert four C-size LR14 alkaline batteries into the tray and place it back in the compartment, securing it using the screws. Note that Burmad does not recommend installing batteries as backup when connecting Omega to external power sources. Also, when using batteries, you'll need to make sure that the controller runs in offline mode. Otherwise, it will drain the batteries very quickly. To do that, open the site dashboard, select the controller, and then select Unit Settings. Find the communication section and use the toggle button to switch the controller to offline mode. If you wish to power Omega using an external power source, you can either connect it to its electric outlet, use a solar panel, or use a high capacity external battery. No matter which external power source you choose, verify it provides one ampere at nine to 16 volts DC. If you have access to a power outlet, you can use the AC to DC universal power adapter that comes with some Omega kits to connect your controller to the grid. When using solar power, we recommend that you purchase the Burmad integrated solar panel that is designed to work seamlessly with Omega. It's a plug and play component that has everything you need to power your controller and is extremely easy to install and operate. To connect the external power source to Omega, first open the terminal's cover and identify the power terminal at the bottom left corner of the electric terminal compartment. The wiring from external power sources needs to be pushed into the terminal's compartment through the silicon membrane of the input slots at the bottom of the controller. Using a flat screwdriver, press the push connectors and insert the wires into the power terminals. Pay attention to the polarity that is marked on the board and connect the wires accordingly. In other tutorials, we'll demonstrate how to connect various input and output devices to Omega. So stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and encourage you to contact Burmad with any other questions you may have. Burmad's Omega Controller. Powerful, intuitive, affordable.